I haven't played a horror game in forever, and I am... I'm low-key scared. Hey, what is going to guys? Panda here back with another video. And uh, today we're going to be playing a horror game. It's called The House. Just searching, you know, through the web and uh, I stumbled across this game that I don't know. So we're going to, I don't even know the bio of it. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> let's, let's see what, uh, what awaits. I know it's like a, like an 8-bit, like, horror style. So pretty much what I usually play when it comes to horror games. The tragic events of that day still intrigue not only the FBI, but the whole country. And it has become one of the most bizarre cases that has never been solved. There are reports of people who say they hear the defending, the deafening screams just by going near the place. That place. Colorado. 1979. Oh man, I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, the graphics are 10 out of 10. <laughs> Amanda, why does your family have a house here in the middle of nowhere? Scott? <sighs> I think it belonged to my great-grandfather. The oldest man bought this house at auction a long time ago. My family never managed to sell it, and it was abandoned for some years. So now it is mine. I love his face, by the way. It <laughs> looks like Trump. Brian. Of course they didn't. This house is falling apart. How old is it? Relax, bro. The furniture is almost new. I can't believe I left my aerobics class for this. Guys, nobody in my family wants this house. We can do whatever we want here. Nobody will care if we break something, have a part, or even demolish this crap. Okay. Okay. You already have convinced me. Ashley and I will go in and have a look around the house. Okay. I'm excited for today. I've always had a crush on Scott. He just recently broke up with my friend Sarah, so I don't want to be a douchebag. I only came on this trip because Ashley didn't want to be the only girl here. I better hurry up and get my backpack out of the van. Hey, Scott. Hey, I uh, have a little bit of crush on you. and uh, Oh, I can't talk. I will check the tires before I park the van near the house. You can go ahead. Here's your backpack. You can put it in the bedroom on the second floor. Okay, thanks. I got my backpack. Can I talk to him again? I would, oh, okay, it's just the same. Okay. Ooh, I can run? <laughs> so, I'm, am I Ashley? The house. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is really cool. I like it. I like it already. The dialogue is hella long, but I mean, the uh, aesthetics and everything, and the controls, just, it was pretty cool. Alright, let's see. Can I... What is this? It seems to be a piece of an... Uh, what? Uh, ex... Excavator? Ex... Excavator? Ex... Whatever, bird? <laughs> Listen here. A bucket. I don't need a bucket. I might need a bucket. What happened if I try to leave? Nope, okay. Is there anything else that I need to check out around the house before I do any uh, unpacking? No? I mean, there is this trail right here. I mean, we can... We could take a look. Oh. Oh, oh, it does lead out. Wait, it might... Here's a well. I feel like this, there must be some bucket around the house. I just had a bucket. What are you talking? <laughs> there is a bucket, but you don't, <laughs> you said you didn't need a bucket. <laughs> okay. Wow. Hmm. Should I try to go get that bucket or should I just, now nah, we'll just go into the house. Let's just, let's just follow the story, how it's meant to play. Okie dokie. What? Who is this again? Oh, Brian. This place doesn't look so bad. Ashley must be in the uh, in the bedroom upstairs putting her things away. Okay, this is the same text. What's here? Newspaper. March 6, 1944. Missing Noah Campbell. Two days ago, the 17-year-old boy, Noah Campbell, was hunting with his father when he disappeared in the woods. 
Today, the police found the boy's blood and a piece of his pants in, the, in an area known to inhabit a mountain lion's. The boy's body was not found at the scene, indicating that the boy managed to escape the, the attack. Local news says the body was not found. How do I? Okay, there we go. It is very dark in here. How do you know? You didn't even open the door. It's empty. Oh. Okay, let's uh, let's go talk to uh, Ashley. Or am I Ashley? It's locked. I should put my things away first. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, this is Ashley. Hey, put your stuff on the other bed. I'm going downstairs to drink some water. <laughs> now I can meet everyone downstairs. Okay. Um. Here, let me check the other doors real quick. Silly goober, it's locked. It's locked? Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Hopefully they have the keys to the house. Where's everyone at? Oh, here's Ashley. This damn tab wa this damn tab doesn't work. Can you go outside and uh ask Scott to fix this crap? <laughs> Wait, so if that's Ashley, who am I again? Whoa. I just went in full circle. Are you kidding me? Okay. Let's uh let's try the other doors real quick. It's locked. Oh. Oh, it just leads to the backyard. Okay. Alright, let's go find Scott. Scott. My beloved. My beloved Scott. This is full sprinting. There seems to be some problem with the plumbing in the house. The taps don't work. Brian told me we're going to the next town to buy some drinks and buy something to eat. I will call a plumber as soon as I get there. We have to shake this place up. Did you bring a radio? This is a very old house. There must be a radio somewhere. Can you and Ashley look for it while we do the shopping? Sure. Shh. Okay. Okay, since I'm already here, let me see if I can grab this bucket. Well, you can, how do I take the bucket? Give me, give me the bucket. Okay. So we get to go in the house and find some radio. Radio. So we can play some tunes. So we can have a good time. Where the hell is Ashley? Yeah, that's like that's the first thing I notice when I walk in the house. Is where's Ashley? Where's Ashley? Where, where can she be? Uh, number one thing, check the room. See if she's in here. No? Okay. Never mind. It's locked. Hmm. There's only so many doors in this house that my buddy Ashley can be hiding at. Oh. This one's unlocked. Okay. Honorable discharge. This is uh this is to certify that Henry F. Smith, Medical Research Department, Army of the United States, is hereby honorable discharge from the military service of the United States of America. This certificate is awarded as a testimonial testimonial of honest uh, what the f honest and faithful service to his country. Date 13 September 1943. Cool. Oh, I collected a little key. Let's go see where this key leads to. Oh, yes, of course. I get a key in the I, Oh. Here's the radio. I better take this downstairs. Maybe this will be useful. So I get a I get a radio and I got a a flashlight. Where is everybody? Uh Where's my flashlight? I don't believe I have a How do I Do I have what the heck? Wait, whoa, what? Oh, it's F, okay. Okay, let's re read another note. Rebuilding brain tissue seems crazy at first. I have worked with this all my life, and now they discard me like an animal I served so much time. So many secrets, so many deaths. They forced me to sign a confidentiality document so all my work, my life story, stayed in the army. 
Okay. This is um this is getting a little creepy. It's locked. I'd I'd rather have the door locked. Is there anything else in here? Is there anything else that I'm missing? No. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm a little dizzy. I must be dehydrated. Well, um, well, the tap water don't work. Does the stove still work? What do I do with this boombox? I don't know where to put it. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, let me just... <laughs> it's not working. It seems that the batteries are missing. Well, I do have batteries. Okay. It's working now. I was Haley. She brought a water bottle. I prefer to wait for the boys to arrive before playing anything on the radio. What is this Minecraft ambiance music? Okay, cool. Let me talk to Ashley. Did you bring a water bottle? No, I wouldn't have thought that this dump wouldn't have water. I am not feeling very well. I'm a little dizzy. If I know Brian and Scott well, they won't bring anything non-alcoholic to drink. There is a well next to the house. Go there to drink water. If you get worse, we can go to the hospital. I am sure it is nothing serious. I'm going there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me let me <laughs> How do they how does she even know that there is a well on the side of the house? Okay, now I can take the bucket. I'm just going to take my little uh, afternoon stroll to the wishing well. Or well. I mean, no matter. <laughs> yeah, let me just... Uh, I like how it jumps to, like, go drink water. If you get worse, we can take it to the hospital. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess it's not too crazy, right? I got a key. It seems that the bucket came with a key. It's my, it's, my, it's my lucky day. Did I drink that water? <laughs> well, I got another key apparently, so let's go back to the house. Nothing, surely nothing spooky is gonna happen. Just, uh, you know, me and three of my buddies just at this um, weird house out of nowhere. Nothing, I sh surely nothing's gonna happen here. Mm, we can try downstairs. I mean, I know that there's a, it's locked. This leads back to where Ashley is here. Let me talk to her. I found this key in the well. Try to look for where it fits. Maybe you will find something valuable in this house. Ah, yes. Let me go uh, search the rooms. Let me go search the rooms and see if there's anything valuable here. Which is weird. This door wasn't even unlocked. No, I already went to this one. So it has to be one of these doors up here, right? Ah, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This place is empty. I expected something more interesting. Well, wh oh. well <laughs> I was going to say, but maybe open the boxes. You might see something in there. Unless they're empty boxes, but... We're back! Finally, you're here. What took you so long? We had some unforeseen problems. I had to call the plumber who can only come tomorrow morning. He brought the drinks. Did you find the radio? Yes, it was in uh, one of the rooms on the second floor. <laughs> right. What are we waiting for? Let's party! Okay, so do I just be like, hey, I don't want to party anymore. What are you waiting for? Come dance with us. Maybe later. I'm not feeling it. Do you like my new dance moves? Yeah, let me just... This music is... <laughs> this music is cool! <laughs> do I just... <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let me let me go back. Let me... Let me what happened? What... This, This music is cool. Did no one hear like the gunshots or something? 
No? What am I? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go downstairs? Hmm. There's nothing really here though. Hmm. I'm gonna need to find the key for that one, huh? Well, I'm glad my friends are, uh, <laughs> they're living it up. Even though I could have sworn I heard a gunshot. What? A hole? Okay. Yeah, let me just uh, climb in a... The test with the last corpse was almost a success. But it seems that the body didn't last more than 30 seconds. Sheriff Cambo always hated me. He was sure that I was involved in the disappearance of that damned boy who was his nephew, which didn't help much. They went through my house and found some experiments with rats in the basement, which was enough to destroy all my work. All my progress has now been absolved by the foundation of the house. It is just a matter of time for me to reach perfection. After a while, a huge emptiness and depression overwhelmed me. I was lost, but it seems that God guided me. Or guided him for my purposes. For a while, I was confused. He knocked me on my door. His leg was bleeding pro profus profusely. Profusely. I cannot. I don't know why I can pronounce some words. I thought of bandaging it, but I felt that this visit was not a mere coincidence. I started cutting his tendons. Poor boy. He was screaming without knowing the greatness of his existence. I was so euphoric that slowly his heart stopped. But this event cleared my mind. Now I knew what had to be done. God guided him to me. I could not interfere in his destiny. Okay, this is uh, this is cool and all, but um, you know, this is uh, this is a little creepy. Why is there? When did I had a key? Okay. Oh, I'm back in the basement. Am I gonna be locked in the basement? Here, let me uh. No shit. Scott, Scott, you can't. Scott, my love, my love, you can't be doing that to me. We'll build a fire outside. I'll wait for you there. Am I, not, am I just not gonna tell Scott about the TV and the hole in the wall and the the scary notes? Am I just not gonna bring that up? Yeah, that <laughs> that literally made me jump. I'm about to get a heart attack. Okay, let's talk to, uh, let's talk to my, okay, Amanda. I found a strange room in the basement with some sinister notes. I don't know if I will have the courage to sleep in this house. No one has lived in this place for decades. If the first owner was a dangerous person, he must be in a, he must be in diapers or has already kicked the bucket. I am not sure about this. No imbecile is going to come walking to this house in the middle of nowhere because of his bloodlust. This only happens in the movies. Maybe in Los Angeles. Try to relax a little bit. You must be right. Yeah, you're, you're, you're totally right, Scott. You know, I'm, I'm just delusional. I, I saw notes. A TV was playing out of nowhere, you know. Don't you think you, have it, you had enough to drink? But I haven't even finished my first beer yet. Look at his face. This is the, this is the, t what, the tenth time you have said this, and you are always holding a different can. <laughs> Whatever, Scott, my brother, your parents are so cool to give you a house. <laughs> to be honest, my parents did not give me this house. They are cheapskates. They don't even know we came here. <laughs> cool, you're the man, Scott. Damn it, Scott, are you serious? I didn't lie when I said that this house is abandoned. My parents do not care. Just relax, chillax, girl. <laughs> There's only th the uh, the only thing we have to worry about is the uh, the eye collector maniac. While brutally murdering his victims, he liked to gouge out their eyes while they were still alive to keep as a souvenir. I heard that his favorite victim were women. Besides, this house was the place where he made his last killing. I have never heard about this. You're making it up. This was a long time ago. Of course you have never heard of it. You told me it was not, it was not dangerous here. Come on, Scott. 
I was just trying to calm you down, baby girl. Calm, calm down. Here's a shoulder. Cry on it. Shut up, Scott. I need to take my allergy medication. I'm going in. Me too. I'm tired of being around these assholes. Come on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's something not to kid about, Scott, you loser. Okay. Damn, Ashley. You ain't, get, you ain't even going to wait for me to go in the house with you. I see. I see how it is. I'm going to find her dead. Watch. Oh, never mind. Unless she's possessed. Drinking on an empty stomach was not a good choice. I'll eat something. Okay. Let me grab my backpack. Maybe I got snacks. What the fuck? What is this? Am I like in an organ or something? Is this like an intestine? What am I... I didn't even see what happened. Holy shit. This medicine makes me a little sleepy. What time is it? Where's Ashley? <laughs> okay. Well, I just, yeah, I just, I guess I had a bad dream. It sounds like someone is screaming in the basement. Of course it's in the basement, dude. Of course. Of course you're in the basement. Um, well, this is, uh, this is awkward. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening here? Where was that at? Where do you see? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, she dead. So I'm assuming logically I'm gonna run, uh, gonna go tell the boys, right? That's my first instinct, is, uh, it's locked. I need to find another way out. It's... Amanda, stay away from me. <laughs> oh my goodness, Scott. I really thought I was going to die. <laughs> Scott, are you the maniac eye collector? What? No, does it even, that doesn't even exist. I was just making fun of you. The only person who died in this house was my great-grandfather. He died the first day he came here, but he was old and died of a heart attack. Ashley ran out to the basement. I thought you would have, I thought you would be braver. Are you fucking kidding me? I saw her fucking body in the basement, Scott. Are you trying to scare me too? I'm serious. Shit. She might have tripped on the stairs. Her body was on the fucking ceiling. What? You were trying to play a trick on me. I'm fucking serious. What's your problem? Okay, let's check it out. I love the dialogue. Where is Scott? Oh, here he is. Can I not? Can I? Can I go in the basement? Can I go in the basement? It's gonna make me go upstairs, isn't it? I know what it's making me do. Scott, my love, I'm coming. Scott, I don't need to come in there any. Uh, I don't need to come in here anymore. Well, don't you want to? Don't you want to go see what's in the basement? Holy shit! What the fuck is that, Brian? What has this thing done to you? Come, please. What is that? What the hell are you? A fucking parasite? No. A mother. <laughs> I don't even know a voice line to give this thing. I need to get out of this place now. What is this? That is gross. Ew. Yeah, all my, all my friends are dead. Yeah, let's get out of here. It was a timing thing. Okay, I see. <laughs> what is this game? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Balls to the wall's window. Jump out that thing. <laughs> hey, at least we lived. Oh, we, we barely lived. Um, first is... Okay, I was gonna say first instinct, let's go to the car. Holy fucking Jesus. Hey, dude, when does when did this become Monster House? Oh hell no. Nah. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to uh 
compare you. I didn't mean to compare. Please leave me alone. <laughs> let me leave. Let me live. One, the protagonist has to live every time. Come on. Oh shit. Plumbing service. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I lived. I did it. I escaped. Watch the. Watch the Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. That was the best game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> Produced by Kaiki Santos. Well, thank you so much, Kaiki Santos, for this truly amazing game. <laughs> and uh, thank you for everyone who else made the game. <laughs> <coughs> on a Friday morning, Mark Williams, a 37-year-old plumber, was on a call to fix the plumbing in a house far from town. His service van was found several miles away from the scene, and according to the investigation, it had probably collided with a truck. Mark Williams was never found. It has been more than 20 years since the disappearance of Scott Thompson, Ashley Rivera, Brian Jones, and Amanda Martinez. According to the information provided by a shopkeeper and other witnesses in the nearby town, the youngsters were spending the weekend at a nearby house. In a statement, the parents of the young Scott Thompson one of the missing reported that they owned a house near the site, but it had been demolished years ago. The documents and the police investigation at the site confirmed this. During the investigation, the police found an, a homemade mask and a bloody knife near the rubble in the old house. The blood on the knife was Scott Thompson's. Everything points to a serial killer, but even after years of searching, the suspect has never been found. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Even after years of investigation, the only concrete evidence the police could find was that in that place existed or <laughs> in that place existed at some point in time this game was really good i liked it had like i said it had some good scares had, you know the the gameplay the experience of it was pretty good overall <laughs> so i would suggest you know giving it a shot download it i will leave the link in the description below if you enjoyed today's video please smash that like button don't forget to hit the subscribe so you guys do not miss another video when i do upload another cool announcement is i do go live on twitch so if you guys want to follow me go ahead i will leave the link in the description below but it's literally hates me panda underscore on twitch so if you guys want to go support that as well please do if you enjoyed today's video like i said please hit that like subscribe do not miss another notification when i do post and or even go live on twitch i would hope to catch you guys in the next one bye bye <laughs>